What's up tech gang, Stefan here from TechRite. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to take a screenshot on the Galaxy A53 5G. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is well out there. Now this is going to be a very basic tutorial. And if I really wanted to, I could just show you very quickly that pressing the volume down button and the power button at the same time, is gonna give you a screenshot, but that wouldn't give you justice. We're gonna go way deeper into this and I'm gonna be showing you some cool ways on how to screenshot. Now, first and foremost, if you guys just got your Galaxy A53 5G, I would do this first. So we're gonna go ahead and get that drop down bar menu out. We're gonna go ahead and click on settings right after that. And we're gonna scroll all the way down until you get to advanced features. Once you get here, you're gonna go ahead and click on that. Now, once you click on that, you're gonna scroll down again until you get to screenshots and screen recorder. We're gonna then go ahead and click on that. And this is going to give us all of our screenshot settings. Now this is going to be based off of your preference, but I'm gonna show you what these do. So obviously you can change the screenshot format to PNG or JPEG, depending on what you want. Uh, for your screen recorder, you can do sound, media sounds, and mic, media sounds, or no sound when you're recording. You can also change the quality. It goes up to 1080p from 480, and you can change the selfie video size as well. So that's really cool for the uh, screen recorder aspect. Now getting into screenshots, it's a little bit different. As you guys can see, we have a, a few settings right here. The first one is screenshot toolbar. After you take a screenshot, show a toolbar with buttons to add to it edit it, share it, and more. Now, honestly, I'd keep this on if I were you. The toolbar is basically this. Once you take a screenshot, it's going to give you a toolbar down here, and we're gonna talk about why this toolbar is important in a second, but I would keep that on. It's personal preference though. If you wanna turn it off later, just go back to settings and turn that off. But the second thing right here, hide status and navigation bars. Now, as you guys know, we have our navigation bars at the bottom, and we also have our status, our time, our battery percentage, and our network settings as well, and all our other notifications. Now, if you would like to hide that status bar though, just for example, if you take a screenshot with that off, and you take a look at the screenshot, it's gonna show you that we do still have our status bar. Now, if you don't want the status bar on, all you have to do is click hide status and navigation bars, screenshot, and as you guys can see, it is going to hide your status and your navigation bar. So that's a really, really cool little trick if you guys wanna add that. The next one is delete shared screenshots. Automatically delete screenshots after they are shared through the screenshot toolbar. So if we turn that on, take a screenshot, and we wanna share it to any of our social media platforms or emails, you just go ahead and share it right after and the screenshot is deleted automatically and only goes to the people that it's being sent to. Now the last thing I'm gonna show you is a really cool trick when it comes to screenshotting. Now if you guys are fans of articles and you guys like you know going over news and you need to take a screenshot of a whole article, very basic right here. So all you have to do is screenshot, boom. And then as you guys can see we have this arrow, click on that arrow and it should go down the entirety of the article if you keep pressing it. And it's going to give you a massive screenshot on whatever you were screenshotting. So once you are pleased, I am currently, go ahead and click on the screenshot. And now we have a huge screenshot right there. So that's a really, really cool option. And the last way to screenshot is very, very basic. And I think this is the easiest one, but this is the palm swipe to capture. So swipe the edge of your hand across the screen to take a screenshot. Now this is gonna be a little bit hard if you guys don't know the actual function. Now it's not gonna be your actual fingers touching the screen. It's going to be literally your palm. So that fat that's at the bottom right here, or that little extra that you have, your phones are usually too bony. Uh, to pick up this screenshot and they usually just end up swiping the screen uh, So what you're gonna do is use this lower part of your hand right here, and we're gonna go ahead and do this As you guys can see very basic And that is how you screenshot with your palm all you have to do is go ahead and turn that on Very basic go ahead and go across the screen like that it takes a screenshot so 
Really, really cool way of screenshotting. But yeah, guys, if this video gave you any value and I helped you out at all, definitely leave a like down below as well subscribing if you guys are not part of the tech gang already. Also, hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I do upload a new video. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, tech gang.